The Roro passenger ship Norman Atlantic caught fire on the 28th of December 2014 in the Strait of Otranto in the Adriatic Sea. This was one of the most well-known accidents, but unfortunately it was only the tip of the iceberg in a series of similar accidents. Following an in-depth analysis of the accidents, in September 2015, EMSA drew the attention of the European maritime community to this important safety issue by organising a workshop. This meeting gathered safety experts from maritime administrations and accident investigation bodies, as well as relevant speakers from industry. One of the results of the workshop was the initiation of the EMSA commissioned fire safe studies, conducted by Bureau Veritas, RISE Research Institutes of Sweden and Stena Rederi. The main objective of the two studies was to improve the fire safety of row row passenger ships with cost efficient safety measures. These would reduce the risk of row row space fire and initiate a discussion on specific proposals for rulemaking. Both studies were brought to the attention of the IMO, where EMSA contributed as part of the European Commission delegation, with the preparation of submissions and presentations. This work helped significantly in the adoption of interim guidelines on fire safety, while the discussion in IMO on possible amendments to SOLAS is still ongoing. EMSA initiated the first fire safe study in 2016 to investigate cost-efficient measures for reducing the risk from fires on row row spaces with a focus on electrical fire as ignition source as well as fire extinguishing failure. In 2017, EMSA initiated FireSafe 2 to investigate risk control options in relation to detection and decision making as well as containment and evacuation following a Roro space fire incident on any Roro passenger ship. In addition, two full-scale tests were also performed, one of which focused on alternative fixed fire extinguishing systems and the other on detection systems in open row row and weather decks. To illustrate the outcome of the studies in a better way, EMSA developed an interactive infographic reflecting the main results of the two studies. The infographic contains a link where all the reports can be downloaded. It is important to note that in FireSafe 2, for better estimation of the impact of the proposed measures, they were applied to three categories of generic ROPAX ships. The cargo ROPAX, where there is a focus on carriage of cargo and a passenger capacity for drivers only. These vessels typically have closed row row spaces and large weather decks. The standard ROPAX, with a focus on the carriage of both cargo and passengers. These vessels typically have all of the three types of row row spaces. Closed row row spaces, open row row spaces and weather decks. The size of the weather deck is generally medium to large within this category. The ferry ROPAX, with a focus on the carriage of passengers and also cargo, similar to a standard ROPAX. These ships typically only have closed row row spaces or mainly closed row row spaces and a small weather deck. FireSafe 1 risk control options can be found here and FireSafe 2 here. As previously mentioned, FireSafe 2 investigated in detail detection, decision, containment and evacuation. In the case of detection, the findings from this part of the study were used to quantify the possible risk reduction in combination with cost efficiency. Five risk control options were investigated. In the example of fibre optic linear heat detection, this innovative technology was tested on board an actual ship, the Stena Scandinavica. It concerns a fibre optic linear heat detection system which requires a sealing structure for the attachment of the optical fiber cable. The system was assumed to be additional to the smoke detection system and was found to be cost effective for new buildings and existing ships for the ferry ROPAX and the standard ROPAX, while it was not cost effective for the cargo ROPAX. The resulting proposal to IMO was to make amendments to the FSS code to allow for such detection systems to be installed as efficient heat detection systems. In a different example, an increased frequency of fire patrols was assumed from every 60 minutes to every 30 minutes. This risk control option, or RCO, was not found to be cost effective for all ship types and was not proposed as a solution to IMO by the EU member states and the European Commission. Following a similar approach on the containment node, when it came to fire monitors on weather deck, this RCO was found cost effective for all ship types and for both new buildings and existing ships with a significant relative risk reduction, which is why it has been suggested as an amendment to SOLAS at IMO by the EU Member States and the European Commission. To conclude, on fire protection of row row passenger ships, EMSA has been actively providing significant technical input with tangible results for the improvement of passenger ship safety in a European and global context.